couple of days, you might have seen headlines asking if Mount St. Helens is about to blow. It's all after the area saw hundreds of recent earthquakes. So is there cause for concern? Fox 13's Shira Matsuzawa talked with the USGS to find out. Since February 1st of this year, approximately 350 earthquakes have rattled Mount St. Helens. You know, none of those earthquakes you could feel even if you were on top of the volcano. Weston Thielen is a research seismologist at the USGS Cascades Volcano Observatory. He says that's the volcano recharging, a term used to describe little batches or pieces of magma coming into the crustal magma chamber and creating a change in pressure, which creates the activity we're seeing specifically in earthquakes. Uh, thus far, we haven't seen any indication of a change in the shape of the volcano, either inflating or deflating, and we haven't seen any gas, uh, changes in gas output. Which means... There is no reason to be alarmed. He adds, we saw the same type of activity from July to December of last year. And the last time Mount St. Helens had a significant event was in 2004 to 2008 when there was a dome forming eruption. There were other periods of recharge that had more earthquakes, bigger earthquakes, lasted for longer in the 80s and the 90s. And we can really lean on those types of events to give us some context about what it is that we're seeing now. Of course, it's this eruption from 1980 that many people remember. That eruption killed 57 people. The next eruption is not eminent. These earthquakes don't give us, or aren't telling us that something is about to happen up there. Thielen adds, they are still being extra vigilant with how they're monitoring the volcano and staying open-minded to new signals that could come in and may change their assessment. Shira Matsuzawa, Fox 13 News.